Welcome back. Jack McDonald from PolySign is going to tell you there's a POC going on with 70 big banks and institutions. We're also going to get into the EHKD updates. Ripple is a part of that. Also with other points, I'm going to show you who those participants are. Visa, just to name one. Also, we're going to get an update on AMMs. Ripple's got a new report out, quarter three report, as well as we're going to talk a little bit about the FX market towards the end. I hope you can stick with me through this whole video. It is going to be a good one. I wanted to wish Kathleen a successful surgery. She said that she's going to have surgery today. I just, she's a big supporter of the channel and uh, my heart goes out to her. I wish her all the success. Jack McDonald from PolySign, right? Uh, he's on this, this panel here and he's going to talk about a uh, proof of concept that 70 banks slash institutions are a part of and you start to wonder who who may be a part of this with those banks so let me play this for you and we'll talk about it all right tell them i'd say two things one when i, I just got off a call with a, a poc i think there's 70 different organizations who are a part of this and without giving away the secret they're largely composed of traditional finance folks all the big banks etc and even for the People that are at the crypto firms today, like myself, have origins coming from TradFi. So I think there is a migration there. When you distill it down to what we're doing, I tell people, I think what we're ultimately as an industry focused on is really rebuilding a new operating system for capital markets. And so it stands to reason that you're going to be pulling folks who have applied ton of Guys, the space is just getting bigger and bigger. As banks come into this space, they're going to want to take advantage of tokenization. They're going to want to take advantage of using digital assets for payments. And we are really at the forefront and the start of all of this. And if you're here, if you're watching this and it's not five years from now, you are part of this original cast of characters that believe in digital assets and that might see the biggest rewards out of what digital assets may become. And so my hands are off to you. You're out here, you're learning, you're trying to grow. That, that's incredible. Hong Kong retail, CBDC pilots, programmability, tokenization, atomic settlement are key benefits. Today, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority published the results of its first phase of the central bank digital currency pilots involving 16 institutions. Given Hong Kong already has sophisticated payment options, it found the most added value from various programmable payment applications. Additionally, it sees benefits of tokenized for tokenization and atomic settlement. No decision has been made to launch a CBDC, so the trials uh, used our uh, hypothetical EHKD. A few banks have already shared the results from their pilots, including Standard Charter, which is a, a Ripple partner, for offline EHKD, and the Bank of China, Hong Kong, for programmable CBDC use for payments. It does talk about programmable payments here. I didn't want to get into programmable payments, but you're talking about full, full fledged payments, programmable payments, offline payments, tokenized deposits. That's a big one. Settlement instruments for Web3 and settlement of tokenized assets. All right. So here is the pilot, Hong Kong Monetary Authority, EHKD pilot program, phase one report. And then here are the participants, which are some of the biggest ones out here in the space. You got Alipay, Bank of China. Boston Consulting Group, HSBC, Ripple, Visa, Standard Charter, ICBC, which is another big rank, MasterCard, can't forget them, almost, almost just glazed over that MasterCard logo there. Uh, and if you scroll down here, this talks about Ford, it says the world has witnessed a remarkable evolution uh, in the way that we view and use money uh, with the advent of examples, smartphone driven transactions, virtual banking and AI driven customer servicing. Our expectations on how our money should work for us have continued to rise as we require faster and more accessible and more affordable ways of managing the and using of our money. Hong Kong's complex ecosystem of banks, fintech firms, and other industry participants have made remarkable strides in this regard by continuously innovating in response to an ever-changing market demand. And I just wanna scroll down here a little bit. It talks about the executive summary, Central bank digital currency CBDCs have gained significant traction globally with many central banks recognizing the potential of wholesale and retail CBDCs. The, the HKMA has been researching CBDCs at a part, as a part of its FinTech 2025 strategy with a view of increasing Hong Kong's readiness of, in issuing a CBDC. So what are they doing here? They're testing the waters. They're getting things in line in case they need to roll out a CBDC quickly. Okay, that's what's happening here. The HKMA embarked on its retail CBDC, our CBDC journey with the project EHKD in 2021, 
as part of the three rail approach in paving the way for potential implementation of an RCBDC in Hong Kong's IE HKD. The HKMA launched the E HKD pilot program in November 2020. The program is a joint effort between the HKMA and the industry to explore and evaluate the commercial viability and the potential uses for the EHK. More information here. This is the digital ref of sovereign money. And I just want to go down here. I'm going to show you a video on this, which, which probably you'll find better than me than me reading this to you. But let me just show you this real quick. Summary of pilots by categories and participants. Uh, Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited up here. Uh, these are programmable payments here. Offline, you have tokenized deposits, right? And then you have a settlement of Web3 transactions, Master, uh, MasterCard Asia, Pacific uh, B Limited, and then settlement of tokenized assets. You have Fubon Bank Limited and Ripple Labs Incorporated, all right? So I just wanna show you Ripple is in fact involved in this. A lot of people, I've seen comments saying that they're not. Hey, there you go. All right, so here 801 XRP put this out. This is about Fubon Bank, Ripple, and partners have worked on the hypothetical EHKD pilot program for the agency place. New opportunities, convenience, security, and empowerment. A higher efficiency for business. For Hong Kongers like Yang, this is what the hypothetical digital Hong Kong dollar or EHKD may represent. A central bank digital currency leading to accelerated and simplified traditional financial process to speed up money flows with less resistance and cost, benefiting buyers, sellers, and the economy at large. Processes that take weeks of paperwork between third parties will be completed almost instantly in a few clicks. As part of the EHKD pilot program, Fubon Bank, Ripple, and partners have spent months developing a faster way to unlock home equity and turn it into credit through a home equity line of credit loan or HELOC loan, dramatically shortening the application process. It starts in the Fubon Bank online portal. So they were just talking about from weeks to minutes, right? And you start to think if people can start getting easier access, right? Because a HELOC is just you're taking out a loan on your home and you're trying to maybe do updates on your home or buy some big purchase or whatever you're trying to do, right? And if you can speed up the process and make it easier for people to get access to money, more money is created and then the economy can grow, right? That's how money is created in any country or first world country, bank loans, mortgages, you have student loans, car loans. When money is created, that's how everything starts to work, right? People are out spending that money that is created. So making it easier and access for people to do this will create more money, will create a bigger economy and a better economy for everybody around. Sees his currently mortgaged properties, picks the one he wants additional credit on. Bond Bank already pre-qualified the amount of equity Yang can realize based off the property value and criteria such as income, credit history, prepayment history, and other information. Yang reviews the offer in terms, then confirms. The bank's interest in the mortgaged property, the lien, is tokenized safely and transparently on the blockchain ledger. This token, once deposited in the lending protocol vault, activates Yang's ability to borrow. He just decides how much credit he wants, and in his vault dashboard, details around asset and liability update in real time. That's really cool. From LTV, interest, repayment terms, asset liability, total loan amount, it's all there. Quick transparency into personal finances, making it easy to budget costs if a bigger loan is needed. The credit instantly appears securely by Fubon Bank using the Ripple CBDC platform, each being worth one Hong Kong dollar and can be used immediately. A part of the money is used as a deposit for Yang Sun's down payment on a new home. The rest of the loan can be used to finance his daughter's last year of university. Ying turned his home equity into credit to be used however he needs, with a few clicks from the comfort of his own home, without hoops to jump through, without annoying paperwork, without needing to travel, visit, and consult multiple third parties. And as the hypothetical EHKD ecosystem grows, so will benefits from the trend, from increased productivity to time saved and lower cost per transaction, to eventually see seamless exchange of hypothetical EHKD as a CBDC all over the world. That's the exciting potential of hypothetical EHKD. They say hypothetical here, guys, because that's what it is right now. It is not a uh, real CBDC yet, but they're getting ready, right? They're getting ready. They're actively 
uh, testing and trying to figure out how this is all going to work and Ripple's at the forefront of it. Real money is beginning to move uh, to the blockchain, XDC, e-bill of lading, Ripple EHKD settlement tokenized platform. You have XCC here, trade finance, trade flow, trade finex, excuse me, trade trust. And this is how it will all work and how the pipeline will go. You also have Ripple here. We just watched a video on how all of this is supposed to work, but here is the visual. If you're a visual learner, here you go. All right, you can go ahead and pause it and I'm gonna, just gonna move on. Ripple published a new report. I'm not gonna read through this whole report because it'll put you to sleep and you're gonna leave. I will include the report down in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and read through all this. It just talks about how quarter three went. A lot of money that was lost in the industry, 686 million was lost in the recent quarter, which is a ton of money. It talks about XRP and trading. Down here, you have a deep dive into the XRP market. It says, moving forward, Ripple will publish standardized market metrics sourced from public sources including CC Data, Bloomberg, and Refintech TV. And so here is assets, price, seven day, moving average, 90 day, 365 day. And then just more information here. Great report. Just I'd highly advise you to go ahead and go through this. It does have some information on AMMs. It doesn't say what's holding back people voting from AMMs, but we're going to go over what the vote tally is right now. And then talks about on-chain activity. So a really great report. I'll include it down in the description to have you take a look at it. So here is the AMM. Nothing has changed since I last did a video on this earlier last week. We still have only six yays and everybody else is on the sidelines waiting. I brought up some, some things that maybe are holding some of these people back from voting yes. Part of it is updating those 206 validator nodes. If AMMs were to come into place right now, today, those nodes would go offline and that could be catastrophic for the entire ecosystems. A few things to work through and I'm sure we'll get AMMs through. There's no time frame on when this needs to be done. People are taking this low, which I, which I can't blame them. And so here you go, 17% of the vote. Ripple ODL reaches 90% of the FX market. This is some little bit older news, but hey, people are, are bringing it up right now. The reason this is so important is because the FX market is $6.6 .6 trillion per day. Man, if we just got a taste of that money, we would be looking at a very nice XRP price. Uh, this is talking about institutions, local payment service providers move money around the world. The way information does today with ODL's expansion into nearly 40 payout markets around the world, representing 90% of the FX market, guys, sooner or later, Ripple's going to be covering 100% of the FX market. But just imagine 90% of 6.6 .6 trillion, 6 trillion, $5.8 trillion a day in, in, in settlement. That could just boost us, rocket boost us to all time new highs. I do think over time, we are going to start getting some of this value transacted on the XRP ledger. I think Swift's going to use XRP in some way. There's going to be banks that are going to be connected to Swift that are going to want to use XRP. Swift is there to make their customers happy. And if using uh, XRP does that, I think Swift will, will, will want to make those, those banks happy rather than those banks leaving uh, Swift altogether and using RippleNet with XRP uh, or using on-demand liquidity through new sources. They could, they could do that too. So I hope you enjoyed this update, guys. I do have merch store down in the description if you want to go ahead and help me as far as if you want to buy some cool crypto gear that would definitely help me and my channel i don't make very much off youtube anything that i can do to try to help create cool new ecosystems and new shirts and new belongings christmas is coming up if you see anything in the store feel free to grab something i am wearing one of the shirts right now cryptonaires i got my crypto sensei logo on the side i want to thank crypto lids for that amazing partnership they great they make great merch i got such cool xrp shirts i got some ethereum shirts but i'm like uh, you know how i feel about ethereum Maybe I'll wear one one day. You'll see it. And I'll, I'll be sporting some Bitcoin stuff tomorrow. I'll make another video.